Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to speak about one of the best and sharpest Sony lenses, the Sony 19mm f2.8 Macro G OSS. It has become one of my favorite lenses over the last few years and in this video I will show you why. First I will show you some specs of this lens, then we will take a look at the image quality and after that we will come to the conclusion. The Sony 19mm has a weight of 602 g a maximum diameter of 79mm and a total length of 131mm. This is average for an f2.8 full frame macro lens. It has a fixed focal length of 90mm. When it's mounted on an APS-C camera with 1.5 crop, it provides a full frame equivalent of 135mm. The build quality is excellent. It has a metal lens mount and it accepts 62mm filters via metal threads. The Sony 19mm is a weather sealed lens, which provides an extra protection to prevent water and dust get inside the lens and camera body under light rain, snow and wind. In order to have the effective protection, you have to pair this lens with a weather sealed camera body. The Sony 19mm has a round focus hold button, which keep the lens locked in the current focusing distance. Useful if you are auto focusing and you don't want the lens to try and find focus again. This lens has a minimum focus distance of 28cm with a maximum magnification of 1 to 1. It features 15 elements in 11 groups, including Aspiro, ED and Super ED elements, a max aperture of f2.8 and a minimum aperture of f22. It has 9 aperture blades, which creates an attractive blur to the out of focus areas of the image, while an internal focusing mechanism means the lens barrel doesn't move. The focus range limiter switch prevents the lens from hunting through the entire focusing range. There are three options. Full, infinity to 15 cm and 50 cm to 28 cm. It has also a wide and rich focus ring. Manual focusing is possible by using the sliding focus ring to toggle between AF and MF. It features optical image stabilization, which together with the A7IV on IBIS mean that you could successfully handhold your camera up to 4 to 4.5 stops slower than with a lens with no optical image stabilization. And the last part is the price. This lens is currently available for 900 euro. But now we will come to the interesting part of this video, the image quality test. I will show you the sharpness, a few macro and portrait shots and the video test. Have fun! Okay, let's start with the sharpness test. We have here an aperture of f2.8. This picture looks quite good. It's very sharp, but let's zoom in. And at the middle we see excellent sharpness at f2.8. Let's go to the edges. The edges are a little bit soft, but only a little bit. Still, still good. Still very good. Let's go to the left side. And here the same result. Still very sharp. There are almost no differences between the middle and the edges here. Now you see the same picture with an f5.6 and what we see directly is the vignette disappeared and the picture is a little bit brighter now. But let's zoom in. And the sharpness has improved a little bit but at f2.8 it was also very sharp. Let's go to the edges. Almost no difference to the f2.8 picture. I'm very impressed. Now you see an f16 and now the picture begin to get a little bit softer. You see it here. It's still sharp but not as sharp as at 2.8 or 5.6 but is still acceptable here. Still a good result. Okay let's come to some macro shots. I shoot this picture here with an f2.8 and you see the bouquet is very smooth and we see very very good sharpness here. But this next picture again very bright colors, very good sharpness here and also very smooth bouquet. Here again very sharp bright colors and that's the next picture the same result. Look at the bokeh here and the sharpness. You see here the little bug 
absolutely amazing the sharpness here from the lens and look at the bokeh here very very nice and here the last mushroom picture a very good result with this lens but what about animals here an example i've shoot it with an f 2.8 and you see how sharp it is an awesome result here and by the way i have stacked no picture here all pictures come directly out of the camera and i've take every picture with only one shot for this picture i have used an f 5.6 and you see also with an f 5.6 how smooth the bokeh here is and how sharp this lens really is a very very good result here here another picture also with a very smooth bokeh and look at the details here look at the eyes of the buck i'm so impressed about this macro lens and i've used here an aperture of f9 and you see how good the result is and how smooth the bokeh still is with an f9 picture from a butterfly i've used here an aperture of f2.8 you see every little hair here and very very good result with an f2.8 and here the last one a picture from a bee i've used here an aperture of f9 and you see how smooth the bokeh really is and look at the sharpness very very good result for this lens and only one shot no stacking nothing only one shot okay let's check some portrait shots here with the focal length of 19 mil and an f 2.8 you can use this lens also for portraits and at this portrait i've used an f4 and you see how smooth the bokeh here is and how sharp the picture is for this picture i have used an f 2.8 and look at the sharpness here of the eye the autofocus was on point and you see a very very smooth bokeh here about the bokeh balls i'm a little bit disappointing i've seen much better result with other lenses they are not so much round here i've used here the aperture wide open at 2.8 the eye is very very sharp i'm really happy with the sharpness here but the bokeh balls at the lights here are very busy you see they are not so round no onion rings but also not very round here in the next minutes you will see some samples of video shots and then we will see us again to the conclusion Welcome back. The Sony 19mm f2.8 is an excellent macro lens for the Sony full frame cameras. It delivers outstanding sharpness in the center of the frame almost throughout its aperture range. Even performing well wide open at f2.8, also you will need to stop down to f5.6 to get the similar quality at the edges of the frame. And it also doesn't suffer from distortion even when shooting in raw format. 
Considering that the Sony 19mm lens is a dedicated macro lens, it offers quite fast and reliable autofocusing on the a7 IV that I have tested it with. Plus manual focusing thanks to the push-pull color and outstanding level of build quality given the budget price. It's even usefully weather tight too. All in all, I definitely recommend adding the Sony 19mm f2.8 macro lens to your arsenal of lenses if you are anyway interested in macro photography especially as it also doubled up as a portrait lens too, thanks to the quick autofocusing. I'm not at all surprised that this lens is a bestseller and a very much loved lens. What is your point of view about this lens? Feel free to write it in the comments. And if you like this test, I would be appreciated if you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please write it in the comments too. I will try to answer everyone. See you next time.